This is the Outdoor Journey Show, where life takes you outdoors. The Outdoor Journey Show with Matt Gatiss and Ty Morgan, brought to you by Journey Hunts and the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Matt Gatiss and Ty Morgan back with the Outdoor Journey Show. You know, we're talking about veterans in the outdoor, and we have with us today Paul Bristol of Base Camp 40. Paul, thanks for coming on the radio with us. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, Paul, why don't, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, about myself. Uh, born and raised Grand Junction. Um, say, you know, the curse of the valley, you always come back. You don't take a bottle of dirt with you. <laughs> but, um, but so, yeah, I ended up back here. I've been uh, worked for the railroad. I've been there for 20 years and started, uh, got lucky, real lucky slot in life with, with Base Camp 40. Well, why don't, why don't you tell us about that? Tell us about Base Camp 40. Base Camp 40 uh, started. Uh, four years ago, this is our fourth year we've been doing it, uh, that we uh, operate under our parent 501c3, Whistler Entertainment Inc., and did uh, the first uh, benefit back in 2011 for um, hospice. My dad went through hospice, and they are amazing people and changed my life. And we brought out Scott Brown, Scooter Brown Band, to play that, and then the ranch party that I used to manage a ranch up here. And Scott Brown's a Marine vet, and he served in Iraq took a look at this country up here in Glade Park, and he said, have you ever thought about doing a veteran's hunt? And I contacted some landowners, and away we went. And we've been doing it uh, not only Glade Park, but we're picking up some great ranches up on Grand Mesa. And we branched out to, um, boy, we're in Kentucky and Alabama and Texas, and uh, recently took six vets on a fishing trip to British Columbia this past June. So it's just a, our way of saying thank you. That's all it is. It's, uh, it's a very minuscule um, gesture compared to what these men and women have done for us here at home. So, Paul, with uh, you know some of the, the things that you've kind of gone through, and I know uh, you and I have had many conversations about the organization of Base Camp 40, but what are, what are some of the difficulties that you guys are seeing that, uh, you know, that you guys are having to overcome when it comes to uh, preparing these hunts and things like that? Oh, it's, it's just uh, every year it gets, it gets better. Our, our team, our group of volunteers here in Grand Junction are – absolutely amazing i mean they it gets easier and easier because you surround yourself with great people and great things happen and it's just uh you know it's like everything else it, it takes money to do this and it's about funding and we're totally run by volunteers our board of directors all agreed that there will never be any salaries paid so it's really that's when i that's why i started whistler entertainment Inc. is to give back and the better we do you know there's no reason to change that mission and kind of retain that true sense of, of giving back. And it takes a lot of time, but like I said, you surround yourself with great people, and it's just an honor to be out here traipsing around the woods with these guys, and guys and, and, and women had our first uh, female hunter last year. And I'm just very fortunate, very, very lucky to be in that slot. Absolutely. You know, the outdoor industry is doing a better job of really giving back to our veterans after they've given so much, you know, to our country and their service. Um, Why, why don't you share with us, Maybe a story of success that you've had there with one of the veterans. Oh, it's uh, probably one that comes to mind is uh, in 2012 when Chris Kyle was here with us. Um, both of them hunted together. A veteran by the name of Steve Land. He was a bilateral amp in Texas, and uh, the guy was pretty down, down in the dumps. He he was way real down, and he uh, you know living with his parents, had no car, no girlfriend. He had even told us that. He had a gun in his mouth three times, and he showed up pretty shut down, and we hooked him up with Chris Kyle and a great ranch up here in Glade Park. In three days, the transformation was phenomenal, and that was Chris Kyle. That was the effect he had on people. And now Steve, uh, we took him on our fishing trip, and now he wants to do volunteer work for Base Camp 40, and he's uh, he's rolling. He's back, back in it, and I know he... He got hit pretty hard when, when Chris was killed in Texas because Chris took him under his wing, was uh, teaching him to be a long-range shooting instructor, and he had called me up. He said, man, I'm back under I'm back under the trigger, and so I'm back where I need to be. And But he's come a long way, and that's it. That was Chris Kyle, I mean, all the way. And, you know, we, we don't we don't have answers. We tell these guys, hey, we open the door to the, the wilderness, and what you get out of it is between you and God and Mother Nature, and if you don't get anything out of it, that's okay. But 
but the results have been phenomenal, and we've made lifelong friends with all these guys. And that's the, that's the key thing. You hook them up with these landowners, and these landowners make that connection with the guys, and they become friends. And it's just that. It's, it's pretty special to watch. Paul, what are some of the uh, plans or goals of Base Camp 40 in the future? Uh, is, is it, uh, you know, obviously more hunts? I mean, you know, is there an expansion project or anything like that? Yeah, Valor Ranch, um, named in honor of Chris Kyle. And it, uh, we're looking to purchase property up here on Glade Park and put in a, a permanent lodge, just kind of a base camp that we operate out of. Because right now, all the vets come in and they stay with the ranches, the ranchers. And we don't see them for several days. And yeah, that'll stay the same. But out-of-town guests and um, a couple guys do day hunts on some ranches. and But we'd eventually put in a lodge and also an equine therapy center, which is a pretty phenomenal way to, to reach out to these guys. It's a big project, big undertaking. We're still in the very beginning phases of it, but hopefully we'll we'll get lucky and find a uh, corporate sponsorship and get it rolling. And it'd just be another way. And eventually, if you know we had millions of dollars coming in, we'd have ranches all over the country that these guys could call home and just go spend time on. And, and so that's what we're doing right now. The big thing is, is the Valor Ranch, Base Camp 40 or Valor Ranch Project. Awesome, awesome. Paul, we have a lot of listeners here listening in. How do they get involved? How, how can they get involved with Base Camp 40? Uh, on our website, uh, bc 40 Hunt, it's bc40hunts.com. They can, uh, there's a contact submission tab. They can uh, send me an email and whether it's volunteering, whether it's referring a veteran to get on a roster of hunts or just sponsorship. Uh, we have several levels of sponsorship and they can also just donate whatever uh, through PayPal, through our website and every little bit counts. You know, we have people that you know donate twenty dollars when they can or fifty dollars and I tell them they say, Oh, it's not much but you know what, it's a plus. And your twenty dollars counts just as much as that big donor's you know, part of part of his big donation, there's twenty bucks in there and yours counts just as much. It, so it's And Paul, you're you're also open to um, you know, if somebody wanted to donate a hunt if they had some private land and things like oh, that. Oh yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. That uh Landowners are a cornerstone of what we do because, you know, I compare it to building a race car. You know, I had the, the initial design and through the help of volunteers and sponsors, we built this great car and here it sits. Well, without the tracks to run that car on and these vets to drive, you know, we're, we're nowhere. And we've got some great, great landowners up here in Glade Park, you know, Warren Gore, Kermit Miller, um, Jensen's. Joe Fandrick, Terry Bedford, it's uh, they're some of the cornerstone, David Anderson, and they just, they, they're in it for the right reason. They're not in it for any publicity, they just, they get it, and landowners are our cornerstone, and if uh, yeah, anybody has a hunt or a ranch they want to reach out, and we pay all the expenses, and we cover everything from flights to lodging to... Uh, processing of the game, licenses. Um, this year, we had a partnership with Weatherby, and today they just came out with their national press release in support of Base Camp 40, which is huge. That's yeah, amazing. that's great. Big, big-time big company, big-time publicity. Hey, Paul, we want to thank you for being on the show, and you and I are going to have to get together at some point because the first half of this show, we talked about the Colorado Outdoor Adventure Guide School right up here in Mesa, where we're also training vets to be in the outdoors guides. And maybe we can get one of our guides with one of your veteran hunters and do an all-veteran affair at some point. Yeah, it'd be great to, great to sit down and talk to you. And thank you guys for the work you're doing. Thank you very much, Paul. Because it, it takes a it takes a, a huge community, you know, to to support these guys and um, the, the the support we've we've received here in town is is over the top, and we're branching out, and we welcome anybody who wants to donate time or or ranches or money or whatever, because uh, you get to see it firsthand when we have our main hunt here. You, you see these guys and. Pretty awesome.
Paul Bristol with Basecamp 40. You can check them out at bc40hunts.com. Ty, when we go to the field, we take our Lakewood products cases into the field because they protect our guns, they protect our bows like no other case. Lakewoodproducts.com. Check them out. And this is the Outdoor Journey Show where life takes you outdoors. This is the Outdoor Journey Show where life takes you outdoors. 